Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make shrimp scampi. So I have gone ahead and started to boil my water for the pasta. Um, I've prepped some of the stuff um, in here for the shrimp to be cooking later on. Don't forget shrimp does cook fairly quickly, so I want to make it at the same time that the water um, is done and the pasta is cooking, which will take about 10 minutes. Um, I have some of the ingredients set out. I'm also going to be making garlic bread, which I'll show you guys. I'm preheating the oven at 350 right now. I will be adding capers to um, the shrimp towards the end, and I'll show you guys how. I have some white wine here. You can choose any brand that you guys want. I'm going to be adding fresh parsley from the garden and um, from this little jar. This here. is the pasta, spaghetti pasta, that I am going to be using. Let me turn this around. Um, I do like to cut it in half like this. You don't have to if you don't want to, but that's what I like to do. I added some salt and some oil to the pot already, so I'm going to be adding this. So I added the noodles that I think I'm going to be needing, and I went ahead and added some oil, like I said previously, so that the noodles don't stick together. Don't forget to um, periodically stir the pot around. I'm going to use one of these guys. everything around and then I'm just gonna let it come to a boil and boil it for about eight to ten minutes saying I went ahead and prepared this pot like I told you guys before I put half a stick of butter in here I put two shallots um, I put some garlic powder and some olive oil um, I got these buttermilk grants flaky layers Pillsbury biscuits that I'm gonna be putting in the oven and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna prepare those what else what else what else i also forgot to mention that i did pre marinate and peel some shrimp um all i did was put some garlic salt in here and peeled and deveined them um also don't forget whatever you guys see on today's recipe um the strainer if you guys like my knife set if you guys like my olive oil topper um, if you guys have pots and pans, I did get it on my Amazon storefront, which I will include in the description below, so make sure that you guys check that out. I have different categories, kitchen gadgets, um, so on and so forth, so let's keep going. Okay, you guys, so I generously coated the pan with some Pam. You can use any brand that you guys prefer, and I lightly coated the uh, tray, if you can see it, with some garlic salt. I am then going to sprinkle you can use any brand that you want some more garlic salt on top of the biscuits and throw these in the oven for about 13 minutes so as you can see those are in the oven i set my timer to 13 minutes and i'm going to come back over to the pasta 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 and give it a stir make sure nothing's sticking together like so Now that that's been going for a few minutes now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stove on to low and get this going. All right, you guys, so I turn this on low. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit and get this butter to melt all the way. And once it melts down, I'm going to add the parsley flakes just a little bit. Give this a stir. Ooh, we're sizzling. I'm gonna turn it back down to low. Again, you can use any brand. And I'm just going to put a little bit in this cap, about that much. I'm not going to add any salt to this because don't forget I already seasoned the shrimp with garlic salt. I will now add some pepper. Again, you can find all my fun gadgets on my Amazon storefront. I'm also going to add the juice of one lemon. Make sure. 
sure you don't accidentally get the seeds in here. I just put my hand, that way I can catch them. This smells so good. And then I'm going to add some white wine. You can use any brand that you like. I'm gonna be using this brand. And just let all the flavors combine. to add my capers in. I like a lot. You can add as much as you'd like. And we're getting ready to add our shrimp in. Now you'll know your shrimp is ready when it starts to turn pink. This is raw shrimp. Um, you can use pre-cooked shrimp if you like, but I feel like it doesn't get the flavor. It doesn't absorb all the flavors you're cooking with as much as raw shrimp because it's already cooked. And they probably just boil it. And see how it's already starting to turn pink? Like this cooks real quick. See how quickly? starting to smell the biscuits and oh my gosh it's not good in here y'all this is really simple it's a really fancy delicious Italian dish that you can serve for any occasion birthday anniversary just cuz but I was in the mood for this everyone in my house loves shrimp so we don't really need an occasion to do this. All right, so you can see the shrimp are really turning pink. They're turning up in here. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a stir, turn some around, make sure that they're all kind of getting in the sauce. But I like them to have a little bit of a golden color on top, so sometimes I'll leave them a little bit longer. I'm gonna add two more minutes. And you don't wanna cook your shrimp too long because then they're gonna taste rubbery. And then to the top of your dish, you can go ahead and add more um, capers if you'd like, or you don't have to, I'm gonna top it was a little bit more capers after I played it, and I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. All right, so I see that everything pretty much looks pink. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. Because they'll continue to cook. This pasta is pretty much done. I'm gonna strain it real quick. I'm telling you, this is super, super quick. It's a really easy dish to make. Too bad I can't try one. I'm just gonna squish it. Yeah, it's ready. Grab my oven mitt. Look at that, you guys. Per the side all right so I got my pasta on the plate and I do like to use a spoon that way I can get all the juices on the pasta Yum. 
from you guys. Look at that. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product. I hope that you guys did enjoy this uh, recipe in this video. If you wanna see more like it, make sure that you smash that like button, comment below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. We appreciate the support. And yeah, bon appetit.